Satnam and welcome. We're preparing for the opening mantra for our session to balance the three lower chakras, which correspond to money, sex and power in the mainstream media. This practice will help us move beyond them into the elevated experiences of the higher chakras, love, truth and wisdom, corresponding to the heart, throat and crown chakra. It's an elevating practice that takes us to the higher vibrations from the three lower vibrations. Start with the opening mantra. through the nose and hold the breath in while you invite in your higher self your higher wisdom to guide you through this continuing yoga practice today away from injuries in a safe and sacred place and placing the hands on top of your knees in Jiang Mudra we're starting off with a nice Sufi grind stirring up the energies of the three lower chakras working deep into the spine bringing that prana in breathing as deep as you can Bringing the awareness into the home of the three lower chakras at the base of the spine with Muladhara chakra, root chakra, Svatisvana sacral chakra and Manipura navel chakra. Reversing the Sufi grind to the opposite direction, synchronizing breath to move. Awareness on the sit bones, grounding through the pelvis, releasing any stagnancy, and keep bringing alignment, staying present in the movement and connected to the breath. Inhale deep, hold it, and exhale. Placing the hands on top of your knees in Jiang Mudra and just witness. Notice any feelings. Coming into lotus, if lotus is in your practice, if not, easy pose is fine. Hands to the floor besides the hips and we're lifting ourselves up, suspending the buttocks above the floor and we hold with long deep breaths, directing the energy up from Muladhara, Svatisvana and Manipura, reversing the flow of energy up, 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 the normal flow of energy is towards gravity, but with this posture, we're directing the energy up into the higher centers. Observe the release of the lower center. Bring the arms up 90 degrees, bend the elbows, palm facing forward. On the inhale, we stay up. On the exhale, bringing the palms almost together as we were going to clap, but we don't clap. Move rhythmically, bringing balance into the body energy system. Hypnotizing the mind so we can move beyond it. Stay strong, deep breathing, keep moving. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, hold it and exhale completely. Placing the hands in Jam Mudra and observe. Come back in your lotus, if lotus is in your practice, for the second round. Breathe as long as you can. Tremble if you're trembling. Lift, lift, lift up. Apana mudra. Two piece fingers extended ring and pinky squeezed with the thumbs mudra for elimination and downward release of things from the body inhaling up arms straight exhaling down just a few inches off the floor directional energy strong movements strong breaths exhale fully inhale up hold it squeeze it exhale Placing the hands on top of your knees in Jai Mudra and just witness the adjustment of energy. 
the thumbs in kundalini represents the ego mind so we're squeezing the ego wrapped in fists and starting to whisk the arms in front of the heart allowing the breath to follow naturally and keep spiraling the energy in front of the heart steering up the electromagnetic field of the heart center spiraling up all these good qualities into the auric field breathe through the challenge hold it and exhale gently release lock the hands on the elbows and bring it up above the head almost like creating a halo inhale up straight and exhale down to the floor with this bowing motion we are teaching ourselves to drop out of the busy mind which can often become quite caught up in those themes of money sex and power and teaches us to drop into the wisdom of the heart into our essence where our wisdom lies breathing through the challenge leading us to the hridaya the heart cave the home of the soul that holds the blueprint of our destiny. Exhale fully and release the hands on top of your knees in Jamudra. Observe. We're coming into a prayer mudra lock, interlacing the thumbs on top of the other and we're stretching the arms up above the head. Inhale, sway left, exhale, sway right. Navel engaged. Rest the arms on the crown of the head if needed. Don't drop them down rebalancing, realigning with the midline of the body. Keep moving, keep breathing, keep swaying the body side to side. Hypnotize the mind. Inhale up to the center, squeeze the mop on and exhale fully, anchoring, consolidating that energy on the ground through the fingertips, hands in Jayang Mudra. We're coming resting flat on our back, hands in Venus Mudra with the fingers interlaced, place them behind the neck and we're giving the three lower chakras one last shake out, getting rid of anything that we can release. Keep the arms and shoulders on the earth, keeping the heels on the earth, if you need to bend the knees, you can bend the knees and just keep shaking, bouncing the hips up and down. Good rhythmic movement, bouncing the hips. Keep that connection to the earth. Break up any fatty deposits, release toxic deposits. Hold it. And exhale fully, gently release the hips on the ground. Coming back line for your Shavasana. Coming back up in easy pose, ready for a closing mantra, Sat Nam, truth is my name. Sat